we'll take a look at this for my first fish on Horton Church Lake. 48 pound, four ounces. Absolutely blown away. Must admit, bit of a fluke to get something this big first up, but uh, I'm not complaining. Very, very happy with this. Uh, no idea which fish it is. Uh, my phone's died on me, so I can't check any galleries or, or any past records or anything like that, but uh, I'll have to have a look this afternoon when I go to the clubhouse. But I'm sure somebody will recognise it. Over the moon. <laughs> well, what a fish to have first up. 48 pound four. Um, unbelievable, blown away by that. I still don't know which fish it is because I haven't got any power. My phone's dead and I, I forgot to bring my battery bank, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but hey, how this way things go. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to find out this afternoon if I go around to the lodge. Um, but uh, yeah, just, just blown away to get, to get something that big first up. So I'm on Horton Church Lake um, and I don't know anything about the lake at all, if I'm honest. I've had no intentions of fishing here. Um, I, I bought the ticket to Fish Kingsmead one across the way. But when I got down here last week, they would, it started to spawn. Uh, a few of the swims were closed. I, I saw some of the big fish up close and yeah, I got some nice video footage of them. Ooh, beep. Got some nice video footage of them in the water and it was, it was good to see some of the chunks that I'm, I'm going to be going for later in the year. Uh, but because they're having a bit of a spawn, or we're having a bit of a spawn, I decided to leave them alone for a few weeks. Um, so I've dropped on the church lake, which is literally just backed onto it really. Uh, and there's no sign of spawning on here whatsoever. So uh, I thought I'll have a go for these and, uh, and see what happens. And yeah, fluke run out. <laughs> Can't believe it. Um, so I fished last week at the top end of the lake. Um, and it, it was quite busy, so I couldn't really get into any shallow water. It was, it was reasonably deep everywhere uh, that was free. Uh, as far as I gather, and a lot of the areas where the fish were showing was sort of over deep, horrible black weed at the bottom that's, that just smells of silt, and I, I just didn't fancy that in spring. It's, it's just it's just not where I want to be fishing, really. Um, so this week when I got down, I rang my mate Matt Eaton, who, who fished here years ago, um, when some of the old boys were still alive, and, and these fish that are big now were, I don't know, I guess 20s or whatever else. But he knows the lake, and he knows, you know, what... Uh, what the topography of the bottom's like, and uh, I just rang him and said, right, these swims are free, where do I want to be? I want some shallow water. Uh, and he told me, give me a list of swims that uh, had decent shallow water, had decent form in the spring. So I had a bit of a walk around. I nearly dropped in a swim called Salt Circle uh, across the way. But when I got around to here, um, the two guys were packing up. I could see a plateau out there uh, lit up in the sun, so I knew it was dead shallow out there. So I quickly grabbed my bucket, dropped it in this swim, ran and got my kit and, and set up in here. Um, I had a good lead around last night trying to find a clear spot and I, I just couldn't find anything particularly clear. Um, I'm surprised that the, the, the plateau is not, not gravelly or sandy, um, but it was, it's all covered in weed. It's, it's not thick weed, but it's, it's that kind of um, silky weed, uh, light green, fresh growth. So I can still present a bait into it, um, but I'd like something a bit clearer. So I must have had, I don't know, 60, 70 odd casts last night to try and find a clear spot, which I didn't. Uh, so I just found a light bit of weed um, for both the rods. On top of the plateau, it seems really shallow. I don't know, I've not plumbed it, but I'm just, when the lead's hitting the su surface, it's just cracking straight down. So I'm guessing it's only three or four foot on there. So I've gone off the sides a little bit. So my right hand rod's in about six foot. The left hand rod's probably a little bit deeper off, off, a, off a steeper sloped side. But the weed seems to be a little bit lighter there. Um, so I've fished fairly long rigs with a pop-up on just to, just to counter the weed that I'm fishing into. Um, and I got the rods out, put about two kilo of bait between them, um, spotted a bit out, catapulted a bit out, but the, the seat was horror pain here. Um, and then sat back and I was, I was surprised if more or less as soon as I'd stopped spotting, the fish were showing. Um, and they, they, they were just rolling and, and just cruising around and flopping over. There was the odd bream amongst them, but there was, there was a lot of carp out there. Um, and I, I, was, I was quite confident. Um, the guy across the way got a bite just before dusk, which gave me even more confidence. Um, so I went to bed last night, sort of really hopeful of a fish. And then this morning on dawn, you know, I had a few bleeps just tightened up a little bit and then just absolutely ripped off. Um, and I played the fish in and it, it gave a good account of itself, went on a few steaming runs and when I did turn it, it just sort of wallowed around and, and felt reasonably heavy. And I managed to slip the net under it, had a look inside and I thought, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good 30. Yeah, that, that'll do for a first fish. And um, then I lifted it out of the water and yeah, my estimation suit changed to something a lot bigger. Um, and I, I couldn't believe it when the scales rattled around to, to 48, uh, just blown away. But there's, um, there's still fish showing out there now. They're, they're not showing as much as what they were a couple of hours ago or last night, but there's, there's still a few fish kicking around. 
and you just see them sort of just turning over and just sticking their heads out and just moving across the top of the shallow bar. So there's one just showed there, just a tiny little show. In fact, I'm not even sure that's a carp, but that's uh, it's not a million miles away from me. Um, so I'm hopeful of another bite, but um, time will tell. Well, after I had that fish yesterday, more and more fish turned up on that plateau, just sticking their heads out and rolling and, and cruising around with the, um, <clears throat> with the backs out of the water. Um, but what I didn't realise was the guys on the far bank were getting horrific liners to the point where they couldn't keep the rods in the water anymore. So late morning time, the bailiff went out in the boat, had a look around, saw the fish chasing each other uh, down underneath the surface, pulled up a load of weed and there's a load of eggs in the weed. Um, so the fish were obviously spawning, um, which I found a little bit strange because every other time I've seen the fish spawning, they've been proper thrashing around on the surface and it's been quite obvious they've, they've had a bit of a spawn, but uh, apparently they've done that on there before where they've, they've, they've not seen them spawn, but they obviously have spawned. Um, so it was, it was time for a move. Um, I nearly went home, but I decided to have a quick walk around Kingsmead one, uh, being as this is the lake I, I joined for, and uh, I found a few fish in, in, in this swim, just right in the margins, just milling around and, and you know, just, just looking quite natural and quite chilled. And then I saw another one roll about 30 yards out in the same swim, and I thought, that'll do me. Let's, let's get in here, give it a night, and, and see if I can get used to this, this, this water. Um, got all the kit here, buried it all down, the fish were still here, just, just milling around close in. Just flicked the rod close in, and then didn't see another fish. I think, I don't know whether they're really spooky or, or, or what. You know, I'm just trying to get used to the lake, but yeah, they disappeared, and I haven't seen another fish in the edge since. Um, nothing showed out last night in, in the pond, but I've seen a couple of shows this morning. But I, I, I don't know what they all are, to be honest. Um, they're either very small carp or very big rud, or whatever they are, but they're, they're not very big. I've only seen one proper carp show this morning, about an hour and a half ago. And that was about two swims up. Um, so I'm kind of hoping there's a group of them and they're going to drift down. But whether they will or not, I've, I've got no idea. Um, the only action I've had uh, was, was first thing this morning, the bobbing at the top of the rod. I come running out, hit into it, and I, I could tell straight away it wasn't fantastic resistance. And then this, this bream popped on the surface. Uh, it was a decent sized bream. It was about 12, maybe 14 pound. And I was debating for whether to get my net slimed up or to whether to knock it in the margins or not, when uh, it did me a massive favour and unlocked itself. So uh, that's the only activity I've had so far. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. You know, that, that fish I had yesterday was, was, was a colossal beast. You know, 48 pounder with my first fish from Horton um, is, is, is not a bad little result. And I, I found out uh, a bit later on when I, when I spoke to the bailiffs and a few of the regulars that it's a fish called the Scar. Uh, I think it did 51 last year. So it's, it's one of the 18 members. So really, really pleased with that. Um, but I, I, I think this little session on this lake is, is going to end up as a, as a blank unless those fish move in. Um, but I'm going I'm to pack up pretty soon anyway, because I, uh, I start a new job tomorrow. I'm going to be the UK marketing manager for ProLogic and a, a few other brands. So really looking forward to that, um, that new career step after seven years of my old job. So it's going to be quite an eventful week for me. Catch a 48 pounder and then start a new job two days later. So it, uh, it should be really, really interesting and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it.